to my channel or welcome if you're new and happy October. It is going to be such a good month and October is one of my favorite months just because it's my birthday month, October 7th, so right around the corner and also we have the new Taylor Swift album coming. I love that it's like the start of the holidays. The weather finally gets perfect here in Tennessee. It's currently 72 degrees outside. Like it is going to be a fantastic month and I'm so excited to reset for it with you. You guys have been loving my reset videos and if you want to see my previous ones, I will have the link um, in the cards and in the description box to the playlist. I think I have since July and the September one had a lot of fall vibes. We did some fall decorating. So if you want more fall vibes in a reset video, actually go back and watch the September one. And what's exciting about October is it's actually also the start of quarter four. So like I've been doing since January, I'm gonna be doing a quarterly plan with me. This is where we dive deep into goal setting and my plans and like more business specific stuff, but also my personal goals. So if you wanna see my goals for quarter four, which is October, November, December, that video is gonna be coming in about a week or so from when you see this. Um, very soon though, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But, but let's go ahead and get started with this October reset. So I started doing a little bit of tidying up this morning just before I did my morning work. We are washing not only my sheets, I wash my sheets every week, but I only wash like my heavy blankets and duvets once a month. So it's time to wash those. And I also had to re-put in some inventory into my little shipping station. So let's start this morning off with a little bit of tidying up and then we'll get into a deeper clean later in the day. pumpkin coffee and I've been looking over my expenses for the month and we are going to sit down and go over our September budget look at what I budgeted and what I spent and then set a new budget for the month of October this is using my planner that I created every month there's a simple budget page you can do this yourself if you have the workbook if not you can do it a budget however you would like I like doing a very simple budget on paper just because I've tried to do Excel sheets, I've tried to do more fancy <laughs> budgeting systems and it just overwhelms me. This one, I just look at my credit card statement, it tells me how much I spent on eating out and I write it down, I can easily compare and that's the way I like to do it. So I also um, don't include my utilities and rent because those stay the same every month and they're not as interesting or as fluctuating as like transportation, eating out, groceries, and those are the kind of expenses I like to see what other people spend and like compare and contrast and for myself I like to keep track of those more because I have control over those. Let's get started. Um, I did use my credit card for a majority of purchases because I was trying to meet my spending goal like for opening the account. If I reach this spending goal by September 21st I got 60,000 extra points and if you're into credit cards you know that that is Fantastic and 60,000 points with my Chase account allows me to get like a $650 credit so I could get a flight pretty much to California to go visit Lucy for free. So I spent 
a lot of purchases, obviously on my credit card so that I could reach that spending goal. But these were all things that I would purchase anyway. I just made sure to use my credit card for purchases this month and I hit that goal. So I'm gonna show you the little wheel of my spending. We had some big expenses this month. Um, the biggest expense is professional services, which is normally a business expense, but I put it on this credit card instead of my business credit card so that I could reach that spending goal and get the extra points. So that doesn't really count as personal spending. So really subtract $500 from this. And I spent about $1,500 this month on my typical expenses. Let's look at my first line here transportation i knew since i was traveling to new york and you take public transportation everywhere there subway ubers taxis i knew i was gonna be spending a lot i estimated i'd spend two hundred dollars and i ended up spending i think it's under travel um i ended up spending 252 dollars just on travel expenses and then a another 81 dollars on gas when i got back to nashville and was driving my car three Three, three, three. Got an angel number there. So we definitely went over expenses on that. I did take the subway majority of the time. It's just like the taxis and Ubers from the airport to her apartment. Those were very expensive. Okay, next was eating out. I knew this was gonna be a big expense this month. I budgeted $300. I ended up spending 385. So not terribly over budget. Um, there are obviously a few days left in September and I may, I'm going to try not to eat out, but maybe add like $20 to that for my end of the month total. Um, groceries, my grocery bill was actually very low this month. Oh, why isn't it actually that low? All right. I thought it was lower. I budgeted $300 and I spent 214. So I was under budget there. So that's gonna help out my total. I'm gonna add my shopping amount to personal, but I did have some shopping, just some bought some things on Amazon and um, some things actually for my birthday little picnic. So we'll add all of that together. And so that was $64.79. So we'll say $65. And I budgeted 70 for that. So we came five dollars under budget for personal all right let's go back to all categories entertainment i knew was going to be pretty high i wanted to go see a broadway show i also went to the zach bryan concert here in nashville with my boyfriend and friends and brother so i budgeted 300 dollars for it came a little bit under budget actually so that's great we saw chicago in new york if you want to see my new york trip i love the vlog and how it turned out it's so fun it's so cute very fall i highly recommend it all right, gifts, I spent a lot more on gifts because I actually bought Lucy's gift as well as my boyfriend's birthday gift. Even though his birthday's in October, I went ahead and bought it again to help me with, to reach that spending goal for my points. So let's see, I budgeted $100 and I spent $130 over that. But that means I'm gonna be spending less on gifts in October because I'm not buying my boyfriend's then. Other, I do have like an other expense. It, I had to buy car mats for my car and so that's not really like a fun shopping or personal expense. So I'm gonna put it in other. So that was, um, I budgeted $100 for myself for other. That turned out to be 120, but it's a necessity. You know, we had to get mats for my car. All right, let's add up all of my expenses for September and see what my total comes to. All right, my total of these expenses that I track monthly, was $1,633. I budgeted $1,370. So I was about $263 over budget, but honestly, I, I know, I, I feel like I do this every month. I'm like over budget and then I'm like, I'm not mad about it. I was expecting September to be an expensive month. I was very excited for my trip to New York for um, visiting family and getting people's birthdays and stuff ready. So I knew it was gonna be an expensive month. I'm hoping October is gonna be a little bit less expensive even though it is my birthday month and Halloween and stuff. I'm not doing any traveling that I know of. So as we plan for October, we're planning it to not be as expensive. And so I'm okay that, I feel like I actually came pretty close to budget for this month when it could have been outrageous. How I do this is I know I wanna spend less than I did in September um, and try to keep it under $1,500. Since I'm not traveling, transportation is gonna be pretty cheap. I also am getting a lot better mileage on my new car. All right, I'm going to budget only $100 for gas. Eating out, 
Again, birthdays and whatnot. I think 300 is good for me to do. That's about $75 a week. I feel like that's doable. Groceries though, um, normally I try to spend under $100 a week. So I'm gonna give myself, what did I do last month? I'm gonna do 300 again, about $75 a week. Personal, it is my birthday month. I'm gonna include this for like some personal shopping expenses. And if I decide to get my nails done, I've been doing pretty good. Not paying to get my nails done. Um, this is just a normal nail polish on my nails right now. And I bought like a dip kit to do sometimes. But I think I'm gonna give myself 150 just if I want to. I like to get myself like a new lipstick every year for my birthday. That may be a little bit high, but we'll do 150. I think entertainment is gonna be pretty low. I'll do 100. Gifts, I still have a few friend gifts to buy. Um, so I'm gonna do 50. And then other, I like giving myself like $100 for other. This is gonna be a low budget month, we hope. So my goal for this month um, with all these items laid out is to spend around $1,100 on just my personal fluctuating its expenses, trying to keep spending lower this month since I've had some high months the past few months is traveling and stuff. And I think I think we can do it, okay guys? We'll see how what happens next month, but that is it for the budgeting portion of this reset. I wanted to share this little ideal week framework with you guys. I just wrote this out on in this blank notebook um, because I've been feeling like every day has been so different and there's no structure to my work days. Like I have my morning routine, I have my night routine, but other than that, I'm like needing to know what to work on each day. So I wrote out this little ideal week. You can do this for yourself too, whether you work for yourself or not. Um, and it just includes like the workout that I wanna get in cause trying to be healthy and also what I wanna work on that day. So like for example, Mondays and Wednesdays, I just wanna go on long walks. Those, that'll be my workout. And these are gonna be content slash Hannah Ashton, like personal brand days. And then I wanna send, send out brand emails on Monday cause everyone's fresh in their inbox. Meanwhile, Tuesdays, I wanna to go to a workout class and have that be consistent every Tuesday morning. And this is gonna be more of an admin slash dream daily day, so business e-commerce day. Wednesdays, I wanna get out of my apartment, so I put that in. Thursdays, I wanna be able to just work out in the gym. And again, it's gonna be a dream daily day. And then Fridays, I usually work just a half day. I wanna go again to a workout class and then have a CEO slash far out planning day where I'll just catch up on whatever I need to, but also plan more like six months to a year in advance. I forget to do that a lot of times. And it'll also just be like my running errands, cleaning, catching up on life day. So I'm gonna try to stick to it this ideal week as much as I can in October. Um, I think it's gonna be really helpful in structuring my days, making sure I spend enough time on my content side of my business, the content business, personal brand versus dream daily business. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so now for the book review portion of this monthly reset. If you don't care about this, you can skip to the next part of this video. But I did have some good reads this month. I read three books and the first one, the first two I don't have with me because I rented them from my library, but the first one was Beach Read. This is a very popular one by Emily Henry. It's my first book by her, I think, that I've read. This one I've been hearing great things about for years as just like a typical beach read. I rated it four stars because it was a great story and it was so cute and of course a great romance book, but I don't think it was a beach read. Like they live on the lake. It's like a lot, it's like rainy for a lot of the book. Like to me, it didn't scream beach read. So I would have named it something a bit different, but um, beside that, it was a really cute book and just like, yeah, I would recommend it if you're looking for a cute um, kind of enemies to lovers trope. The second book I read was actually, I feel like, more of a beach read. This, I told myself, was going to be like my last summary book for the year. And it is actually number two in a series. It's about the sister of the girl from It Happened One Summer. And I actually rated this one five stars. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. I feel like it had... A plot that obviously you kind of knew what was gonna happen but it was a very unique plot I liked that the girl was was very into movie soundtracks and wanted to be she worked in the film industry and wanted to create soundtracks for movies like I thought that was a really unique job for her and so I, I read this more at the beginning of the month so it's hard to remember exactly why I read it 
rated it five stars, but I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was super cute. And the third book that I read is the very popular It Ends With Us. I ended up buying this book and I'm really glad I did because it's it lives up to the hype. This is my first Colleen Hoover book though, so I feel like that's really rare. My first and only so far. I don't know if I want to read other Colleen Hoover books because I enjoyed this one so much and I hear that a lot of her books are very different and like written differently and they're not all the same. So even though I love this one, it was very dramatic. It was a little bit darker than a lot of books I read. Um, it's obviously a romance book, but I would say like a romantic drama. I loved how she brought in these harsher topics that one normally doesn't read about in um, cute romance novels. There was a lot about physical and emotional abuse in relationships, um, homelessness, and the way that she wrote about those topics I thought was beautifully done. Um, it obviously makes you uncomfortable, but it shows you like the insides of those situations. I don't want to go too much into detail, but it was a beautifully written book about some harsh topics. And along with that, it has a fantastic love story. And it's just one of those books. I read it in seriously a few days. I'm very excited because the sequel of it, It Begins With Us, comes out this month. So that will probably be in my October, that will probably be in my November reset, that review. But I am so excited for the sequel. And this book came out a while ago, but I'm glad that I read it so closely to the sequel being released. So it's a perfect time to read this book if you haven't yet. And oh, I also love how the main girl in this is an entrepreneur. And she um, it kind of walks you through friendship, her friendship as well with like kind of someone who helps her with her business. And I love that she's an entrepreneur. So that kept me hooked in it as well. I just wanted to see how her business turned out because it's a really cute business. So this was five stars. Overall, really good reads. I didn't read as much the second half of the month because I was busy traveling and busy with the new shows coming out and stuff that I've been wanting to watch. Started rewatching Gilmore Girls, of course, but that is my little book review for the month. this October reset with my monthly favorites and then products that I am excited to use moving forward. So I only have a few of each. I did change for like the fifth time today. This was all filmed in one day. I just changed so much throughout my day and I'm realizing I should have done my book review with my little bookshelf in the background. We'll keep that in mind for next month. My favorites from September, the first one being this adorable glass you guys have seen in a lot of videos of mine. So cute, it has this white rim, little pumpkins. It's from Anthropology, but it's last season. I got it on clearance last winter and I haven't seen them on the so in store or online yet. They have the same type of glass with other designs, but I haven't seen the pumpkins. I've seen some people resell them though online, so maybe you're interested in that. I'm so sorry, I wish I could link them. I don't try a ton of new skincare products, but I had some credits from Glossier. Let me move this ugly tripod. They were getting rid of their credit system, so I needed to spend it. And I got this exfoliating skin perfector solution. The bottle is so cute for one. And then also it has this fun um, top where you basically, I take a reusable cotton pad and then press it down and the product comes out so it's like a little pump and i was like not expecting a ton from this i don't know i like glossier makeup but never had the urge to try their skincare however i use this a few nights a week um right after cleansing before moisturizer and it is so nice i'm currently on my period right now and i you can't even tell a difference in my skin normally i do break out around this time of the month 
haven't noticed a thing. It's kept my skin, the first few nights I used it, my skin was so much smoother in the morning. I don't have super sensitive skin, so even though it stings a little, I don't see any irritation. It's kind of just kind of like a mild exfoliator. You don't really feel it like rough on your skin, but it does have salicylic acid and it is technically an acne treatment. So keep that in mind. But if you're looking for like a nice way to exfoliate on the regular, make your skin super soft and glowy, Highly, I've been loving this. I don't know why I haven't heard more people talk about it. And then of course, this is a favorite every year. I got this four years ago now, and it is my go-to fall eyeshadow palette. It is the Tartlet Toasted Palette. Tarte eyeshadow palettes are my favorite. Like, just look at those beautiful shades. Oh my gosh. The names are so cute too. We have Warmth, Cashmere, S'more, Latte, Fireside, Cozy, Sunset. All right, and now I just have two new products that I'm so excited for. I'm gonna leave the most exciting for last. This is also a favorite that comes back every year. I've gotten it like three years now in a row. And it is the Trader Joe's Vanilla Pumpkin Scented Candle. They also have an apple one, but I'm more of a pumpkin girl. And it's just a cute little tin. It's a super cheap candle. I think it's a few dollars and it smells amazing. It's also made with natural soy wax and the lead-free cotton wick. I've already burned it a little bit and it's just a fantastic cheap candle for fall. All right, this is what I'm most excited for. It just came in today. I just filmed a little TikTok unboxing. It is the Road Peptide Lip Treatment. Look at how cute this packaging is. Oh my gosh. Um, I got it in the salted caramel flavor. I wanted watermelon for summer when it was released and of course she sold out super quickly and then sold out again and sold out again and so i finally got my hands on one of her products i want to try her skincare products as well but i decided for fall i should do the salted caramel i just put it on for the first time it is super glossy i'm interested to see like how well it moisturizes how often i have to keep putting it on but it is the cutest the tube is smaller than i expected actually but it's a really cute tube the packaging a freaking plus it is adorable and the scent i i like salted caramel but i didn't know how much i would really want to put it on daily no it doesn't smell fake it smells really like really rich and warm so it's definitely something i would want to put on every day here's the little applicator it's super glossy i think it's just as glossy as the summer fridays maybe a little bit more this is just my natural lip color with it I'm so freaking excited to finally get this, but I do wish the tube was bigger because I feel like I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly and it was $20, so that yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching though. I hope this was entertaining and inspirational and now you feel ready to prep for October, whether that means deep cleaning, setting new goals, setting a budget, planning out your ideal week, whatever resetting for October is for you. I hope this inspired you to get started with it and I will see you guys actually very soon for my quarter four plan with me or I'll see you just, you know, in my next videos coming up. All right. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.